Welcome along to South Today's Sport and to Centennial Park in Nahumaru for the second of the warm-up games for both the Highlanders and the Crusaders. Crusaders enjoying some early possession, but now the Highlanders starting to get quality ball, and they've got it to Ma'anonu in his first game for the Southern franchise and his first try, brushing off Johnny McNichol in the process. Ima Sopawanga with the kicking duties, and he carries them out with a plomb. 7-0 after 11. So line out to the Highlanders and take it at the front by Elliot Dixon and Smith to Sopawanga. Now they're looking to run with real confidence now, the Highlanders. Kate Porky getting a breach of the defensive line. Shane Christie just slipping off the tackle there. Now Huerta. Getting ever so close to that 22. The period of play with the Highlanders really looking after the position. Now trying to centre it up. Wheeler on the ground. Smith across. And Nono finds Populi. He gets around the outside, but only just before the offload to Polky, who has to bring it away from that terrace touchline. Space at a premium out there. And uh, continue through Brad Thorne, takes it up and over the 22. Protects the ball yet again. This time Sapuanga with the break of the defensive line and Popoli finishes the job off in style. Sapuanga will add the extras, double the score, 14-0 after 15. More attack coming from the Highlanders, Wheeler leading the charge. Been out a good one, but uh, Wheeler held on just a shade too long. Ellis with a quick tap and away the Crusaders go, needing to get back into this match. They started well and through their captain they find a hole. Johnny McNichol elusive as he was last year. Papa Lee with a desperate tackle. Braden Mitchell with another on Ben Fennell, his opposite. So holding on just the home side. This is Dag. Christie, chance now, quick hands means Luke Romano will go in the corner for the first score for the Crusaders. And it'll be five to them. And through the boot of Tom Taylor, it will be seven. Accurate as always, 14-7 after 19. Off the top from Bird and McNicholin off his wing. Good tackle from John Hardy. Ellis looking for the ball, it's slowed down, and Smith gets in there, it's a nuisance value, but uh, bounces kindly for Tom Taylor, he gets his pass on the inside, Jordan Taufua, and Ellis wide, and Tom Marshall in from the back and puts Luke Romano in the other wing, for two tries for the big lock forward, and back in this game. A simple kick for Taylor to level the scores at 14 apiece. We're enjoying a spectacle here. After 30, it's all locked up. So the free kick awarded against the Highlanders for the early engagement. Garrett Williamson in charge today. One of the refereeing duties. And they want to continue this momentum that built up nicely through the captain, Ryan Crotty. And he does get past the first line of defence. Elliot Dixon, efficient in the tackle, can't dispossess him. But into the back line comes uh, Israel Dag, playing in the 13 jersey today and playing well. Willie Hines at halfback at the moment, players on rotation, as you'll appreciate in these preseason games. Everyone getting a run at some stage. Chance for Romano, he's looking for another try. And certainly ranging out wide today. And the way through this time. Chalfour. Powerful leg drive, gets him within seven, as you can see. Top right of your picture, the goal line looming. Highland is really tested here. Turn the ball over nicely, Burley will kick it away. There's a chase on here, and some real speed coming from Buxton Poppy Lee. He needs a bounce, gets one. Gets away from the first defender, he's got Marshall to beat, and in support, the captain, Jose Gear trots over in the corner. What a great counter-attack that was from the home team. So into the second half, 19-14, the advantage to the Highlanders. Enjoying some very vocal support here. Good to see John Hardy getting through some serious football, committing himself both on attack and defence. 
Yeah, you know, Sopawang is passed on the inside and Nono and he bursts through. Great power from someone really committing himself today and showing good penetration. And chances for the likes of Pokey who bounces off one tackle and takes the next one to the ground. Not able to get any further than the touchline. Five metre scrum for the Highlanders. It turns into a penalty. And they're doing nothing but ball in hand at the moment. The Highlanders, they want those five points. And they're seeking it out wide. And they're going to get it through Sapawanga. Now he's looked too dangerous today. Scores five. And seven it is through the boot of Hayden Parker. Now on in Sapawanga's place. So an attacking line-out for the Highlanders. They've gone to the back and over the top of Wheel of the Jumper. Chance for the Crusaders to tidy up, but nobody does so except Hayden Parker. Pounces on it and picks up five. And makes it seven. So a great start for Hayden Parker. Comes on, kicks a couple of goals and picks up a try. This time it's the Crusaders on attack looking to reduce the deficit through Dag. Nono with a tackle, and the turnover comes. So from 100 metres out, this is Kate Porky. He's stripped over but not held. So able to get the pass away to Popoli'i, who hits the ball on the boot. And there are chases aplenty. Porky was leading them. But they've got themselves 75 metres of territory, the Highlanders. And Marshall trying to get out of trouble, can't do so completely. Does well enough, though, to buy some time. They've lost an awful lot of ground. Tyler Blindell tries to regain some of that territory. But on the play again, Popoli'i absolutely thriving in 15 today. I say gear, good understanding. A pass that was uh, marginal at best. Burley doesn't mind because he was onto it. Gear and then, oh, Smith, if he just pulled that in. The line was only 10 metres away, but a stray hand from the Crusaders means the advantage is still with the men in blue. Popoli'i and Coltman combining. Nanu puts a little grubber kick through. Tom Marshall tidies it up very nicely indeed. Well, nothing came of the five metre scrum, but uh, the attack continues. With Highlanders through Parker. Oh, Parker finds a huge hole and takes full toll. Another try to the young man. A very useful cameo appearance here from Parker. Two tries and a bunch of kicks. So another long line-out throw that's gone astray. Not the first today, but the Highlanders have prospered. And uh, Elliot Dixon coming in the charge, able to offload to Jason Emery. His first touch of possession and making good use of it. Can't quite find a player close enough, so makes the sensible decision to hold on as long as he can. And the advantage coming penalty-wise to the Highlanders. They'll look to... Get some yards through Jamie McIntosh. He obliges. And Tanaka now on. Honda is looking up, looking after the position particularly well. And Parker, he fancies three tries today. He will be denied on this occasion. But the position still retained by the Highlanders through Tom Franklin. Getting good game time in these preseason matches. Back to the penalty though. Nothing from that offence, so the Highlanders now find themselves uh, holding out their own line and don't do so in the first line of defence. And it'll be Kieran Fonatia that crosses for the Crusaders' last try, the last try of the game. So the last act of the game will be the conversion that brings down the curtain on a very entertaining afternoon of rugby enjoyed here by this bumper crowd. And a deserved win, you'd have to say, to the Highlanders by 38-21. One more warm-up game this time next week. You can watch the Highlanders against the Blues.